Hey guys, RTT back here for that video, guys. We have a little bit of an update from Gus33000. Now, if you not go know who Gus33000 is, he's actually a hacker who actually put uh, Windows 11 on the Lumia 950. So he's the guy who went ahead and made a Microsoft phone run an actual Microsoft operating system, not just Windows OS, you know, not just Mobile 10. He actually had the full one operating system running on the Surface, uh, sorry, on the Lumia 950. Now, he recently, over the last, you know, Christmas break, picked up the Surface 201. He's actually also going to be picking up the Surface 202 sometime soon. But when he picked up the Duo One, he actually went ahead and you know started uh, tinkling with it right away. Right, we got some updates, we got some posts about it of him trying to run certain things on it. He posted this image right here, where it's plugged into his computer and he's running different command prompts on it. And we kind of didn't know exactly what he was doing because there's a lot of speculations that maybe he's trying to run different, you know, like virtual machines on this bad boy, you know, because again, like I said, many videos, virtual machines are really, really cool. You can actually boot a virtual machine into any operating system possible. You can go any from Linux to Windows to Android to anything. It does not matter what you want to. You can boot it into multiple different things. And the cool thing about, uh, you know, virtual machines is you can constantly change the operating system. So you might start off with, you know, wanting to have it in a Windows based operating system and they could play change that to maybe Android or change that to, you know, Linux or change that to whatever. So it's a really cool uh, system and there's actually two main programs called Fedora and also Ubuntu. Ubuntu is more Linux based. But again, like I said, you know, it's a really cool concept of him running that on these devices. Now, we always, you know, in the back of our heads, we always thought, well, the real goal would be to run Windows 11 on the Surface 201. And that's something that, yes, at the same time is really cool, but it's not really possible. Well, we thought it was impossible because there's the ARM on the ARM archetype on the Surface 201 cannot support Windows 11. We have heard that many, many times. And many people have said that literally it would be a cool concept, but they just couldn't do that. Now, recently we learned about Acro Media. Now, what is Acro Media? Acro Media is actually the software that was supposed to be in the Duo One before the actual Surface Duo One was released. So, Acro Media was a Windows based OS that was released on the Duo One all the way up to the very end. And then they put Android 10 on it because they could not get it to work with Acro Media consistently. Now, obviously, they put Android 10 on it, and Android 10 also doesn't work on it, not great as when it first came out. So, in the end, it was a flop on both ways. But with that being said, though, if we go ahead and go up here, blah, 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 blah. We can see that, yes, he has been posting even more stuff about this. And we actually got an update for today. So starting off with a way, he did post this picture right here where he lost half of his gigabytes of RAM, of gigabytes of storage because he is running this, you know, more or less Windows OS type system. And to be honest, and you guys see down here, it says other apps and it has that little icon right there. Clearly, it's not in a usable state yet, but it's definitely still getting there. This is so freaking cool because, yes, guys, this man right here, I say, man, this, this person right here is trying to get Windows 11 on the Surface Duo 1. And based on what we see right here, so now we kind of get more information, <clears throat> information about this, about this whole entire screen and what this means. But, yes, this is him booting into... A kind of like a safe mode so this is more or less like a boot screen so that's a safe mode that protects the device it says boot select start recovery power options stuff like that I said in my last video that it's kind of it was more or less like a BIOS for what a PC would have uh, when you are running off your PC you have like a more or less a BIOS so you can actually control what you do you can control everything in the operating system while well, the same concept here uh, for him trying to run into uh, Windows 11 so Right here says Windows Kit 10 Tools um, Device Bound 1 Microsoft Surface Duo Program Fires Windows Kit 10 Tools Bin. So yes, he's trying to run Windows 11. And I'll be honest, I'll be honest, I'll be honest, I'll be honest. Now, he already apparently, according to multiple sources, he already uh, tried to be an intern for Microsoft and Microsoft did not accept him. So therefore, I mean, Microsoft, um, you guys are just taking the L here because this guy might actually figure out a way to correctly run a Windows based OS system on your own device that you guys could not do. That's embarrassing. That's really embarrassing that this guy is that smart and you guys did not hire him or bring him on the team. So this is actually an article that was posted by uh, Windows Central. Uh, the artist, the, uh, the author is Sean 
Ellicott, and he actually posted this right here. So he posted one of uh, Gus 33,000 uh, 33, tweets, and the tweet reads as followed. About the Surface Duo I got, here is the rundown of where I am today. Experiments, as uh, as many have guessed, the end goal is to boot in Windows on it in somewhat usable state. So obviously, yes, he's not trying to run Windows and absolutely just flops. He's actually trying to have it in a usable state. He said, right now, uh, a preliminary uh, UEFI port had been made. This UEFI is effective, uh, a patch version of the stock designed to be reloaded after the original one without uh, loading restrictions. As a result, few things have got patched slash replaced. Things that work, including the stock storage, uh, the DXE driver, as well as the core uh, buses. However, one critical uh, thing still doesn't work, and that's the display panels, meaning they do not display anything. It's, however, uh, currently able to boot um, EFI files, like Linux or Windows uh, booting fine. As for AP, uh, ACPI, given how similar the SD855 and the uh, CZ, uh, X are, we are currently refusing, uh, reusing the Pro X ACPI tables with things uh, di uh, disabled for safety. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put that in English, okay? Pretty much what he's saying is that they're the both processors are very similar, so he's able to use the same stuff he used for the 950 as he is for the Surface Zero One. That's what he's saying. That that's just cut, cut cut and paste, okay? That's all cut and paste. He's using the same resources, okay? That's what that means. Uh, still lots to do. However, this early days and a lot of thinking and ideas still need to happen. I've not worked on a ton so far, mainly because I'm waiting for the Android 11 update to continue. Panels remain a, a problem with this update. All right. So, yes, all that being said, we don't have, he's not 100%, you know, done, obviously, but that is a really good update. And obviously, we are now confir confirmation. He's trying to run Windows on the Surface Duo 1. And that's, that's awesome. That's absolutely awesome. And I'll say right now, if he can get this to work, this would absolutely change the whole entire ball game. I mean, this is, I, I said many times, you know, obviously, Aquamedia did not work on the Surface Duo 1. But I feel like there is a there's a premise slash purpose for the idea of running Android 11. Oh, sorry, running Windows on this device. Just the usability, the practical uh, practicability of it, and just the next level experience. I'm very excited to see what he can do moving forward. I definitely have faith that he's going to be doing something good. And again, like I always say, guys, if I do get an update, I will keep you guys updated on what's going on. But tell me down below your thoughts and opinions because this is really cool. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.